now is the time for our online science class so be ready uh, in our uh, last class in our previous class uh, we already learned the chapter part of chapter 6 solids liquids and gases I'm uh, today I am telling you again the main points firstly then go to the next part matter is made up of tiny particles called atoms when two or more atoms combine they form a molecule a molecule is the smallest unit of substance that has all the properties of that substance the molecules of a substance are different from another substance for example sugar molecules are completely different from the molecules of milk why it is because molecules of different substances are arranged differently according to the arrangement of molecules matter is classified into can you remember yes three parts solid liquid and gas these all have their own unique properties you all know the, the properties of, uh, I think you all memorize the properties of solid, liquid and gases. And next is, was the solution. Solution is a special mixture formed when one substance is completely dissolved into another substance. Solute and solvent together make a solution solute and solvent together make a solution in sugar water sugar is the solute and water is the solvent two uh, liquids that mix with each other entirely are called as miscible liquids example water and lime juice and two liquids that do not mix with each other are called as immiscible liquids example oil and water oil don't at all not at all mixes up with water and soluble substances dissolve completely in a liquid example sugar and salt soluble uh, soluble uh, substances dissolve completely in a liquid and insoluble substances do not dissolve completely in a liquid example sand and chalk powder now here, uh, here is some. Uh, here are some uh, fill in the blanks, and uh, you all try to uh, solve it in your own. next. <coughs> sorry, next day, I'll uh, when I'll give you the question answers, then I'll give all the answers. Then now uh, today we'll start from here. Separation of insoluble substances from liquids. Have you carefully observed impure water? It contains two types of impurities. Fine or light impurities that float on the surface and heavy impurities that settle down at the bottom. Here in this glass you can see light impurities that float on the surface and heavy impurities that settle down at the bottom. De depending upon the type of impurities in water, there are three methods of sub separating the impurities. These are sedimentation, decantation and filtration. Okay. Sedimentation, decantation and filtration. Sedimentation is, uh, sedimentation is the method which used to separate heavy particles of an insoluble solid from water. Okay. Firstly, you can see here the it is sedimentation. Sedimentation is the method of separating two components in such a way that the heavier substances settle down. Here in a jar, you can see here is a water, sand is heavy sediments which sedimented down. Mix an insoluble chalk powder or sand with water. The water will look white in color. Leave the water in the container 
undisturbed for a while. After some time, the cho chalk particles or sands settle down at the bottom of the container due to gravity. These particles of sand or chalk powder are known as sediment, sealed sedimentation. The clear water is obtained by pouring here. You can see this picture. The clear water is obtained by pouring it into another container without disturbing the sediment. This process of obtaining liquid from the insoluble solid is known as decantation. So, so it is sedimentation and the next is decantation. Now it is filtration. Tea is filtered before drinking, you know. This is done using a strainer which, which is fitted with a vermish. Usually we do it when we strain out the tea, the liquid part and the tea leaves. The tea leaves are left behind on the strainer and the liquid passes through it into a cup or a container and then we drink it. So here you can the, uh, look here. Here is a filtration process. We can see that impure water is here. Impure water, we pour it in a, a filter through a funnel. There is a filter paper. And after that, when the uh, impure water passes through the uh, funnel and filter paper, it filtered and the clear water we get. So, these methods are separating impurities from water okay these methods are separating insoluble solids from the liquids these are sedimentation filtration sedimentation decantation and filtration now we can try this process a let us separate sand from water process a take a mixture of sand and water in a beaker allow the mixture to stand for some time without disturbing it and what do you observe? The sand particles start settling down at the bottom of the beaker, leaving behind the clear water above. And the sediment collects at the bottom. This process is called sedimentation. In process B, put the clear water gently into another container. The clear water to another container. Without disturbing the sediments. This way sand particles are separated from water. The sand particles leaves behind. So, next is separation of soluble substances from liquid. Separation of soluble substances from liquid. There are process, the first process is evaporation. When uh, you uh, buy salt from the market, uh, it, you know that it was once dissolved in seawater. It has been separated from seawater. The salt which we buy from the market, it has been separated from seawater actually. Evaporation is a process in which soluble substances is in a liquid can be separated using heat. In this process, the mixture such as salt water is boiled. You can see here the first picture. Solution of water and salt is boiled. Boiled until the liquid changes into gas. When the liquid changes into gas, then it leaves behind the dissolved substances. What is it? It is salt. Solution is heated to boiling point for the liquid to evaporate. And solid particles of salt remains after liquid evaporates. Okay. So, you can try this. Add 2 to 3 spoonful of salt to a large glass of water. Pour the solution into a bowl or a container. Place the container outside in a beam of direct sunlight. Can you guess what will happen next? Then, if you check, what, what you, 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 can, you get? You can see that the water is gone and the only salt is left in the bowl. Where did the water go? The water disappeared due to the process of evaporation. And... Next the process is distillation. Distillation is the method which used to separate two miscible liquids 
from their mixture. This method makes use of following properties of matter. Different liquids have different boiling points, you know. When a liquid reaches its boiling point, it completely evaporates and converts into gas. When a gas is cooled, it condensed and changes into liquid. Sorry. Hence, in this method, distillation, the mixture of two miscible liquid is heated to a point that one of the liquids reaches its boiling point. The liquid evaporates completely and is converted into vapors. These vapors are collected in a container, cooled and condensed to obtain the pure liquid. Speci special apertures like Liebig condenser is used for the process of distillation. You can see here the process of distillation. Okay, I can see here. Here is a big. Here is a beaker. It heated, and the vapors here, and then the water out condenser cold water in pure liquid it is uh, here it is this, this is the process of distillation okay and next is some choose the correct answer so please all try it in your own try to solve and next uh, when I will I give you the question answer and objective type questions then I'll give all the answers then you can check it with the exact answer okay so that's all for today's class the, the chapter is uh, a big chapter and the next part the remaining part i'll discuss in our next class so till then bye